So the reason why this is so personal to me is because, you know what I'm saying, everybody grew up differently. You do know what I'm saying? But in my eyes, everybody got family secrets. You know what I'm saying? And my family secrets almost broke my, my whole family up. Right. You do know what I'm saying? Okay. So and it was awful it was awful like some petty some petty shit. You know what hey, I'm well, saying? If you don't feel like getting into it, you don't, because I know that's per- No, nah, like I can I can talk about like? it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm this not just gonna get too in depth. But yeah, up. like so if you can give us a little insight, that's cool. So as far as like the too. whole situation, you know what I'm saying? My pop that I was telling y'all about not my real dad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was the that was the secret that came out years ago that was trying to like uh, I well, guess. so the one you the raised you in right. high school, somehow earlier, right. it's not right. your biological still father, right. though. Wow. Right. So, uh, hey, well, I ain't gonna fuck up the moment. Drop that horn for that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, so right, he's somebody father. The whole the whole situation just got out of hand. You do know what I'm saying? And uh, like when I was saying the shit started over ticket, just around like my graduation year. You know what I'm saying? Grandma felt some type of way. She always been a little vindictive back in the day. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Oh, and uh, it was just one of those situations where, like, went over to her crib one day. My dad went to go visit his dad. You know what I'm saying? And me and her was having a one-on-one where she told me everything that she thought. You know what I'm saying? She didn't even know, like, the whole full story. But she told me what she wow, thought. Wow, so you sitting there kicking it with your grandma, y'all chopping it up. And she gives you the story of, like, hey, your dad... It right, might not be a real biological. But I'm dad. so I'm so real about the situation that I ain't even I ain't even like spaz or anything like that. I took the information that she gave me, I absorbed it, and then when we left, you know what I'm saying, me and Pop, we chopped it up away, on the way home or whatever. But I ain't really tell him what what was said to me. And we, how old how old are you at this time? Uh, I'm like 17, 18. You know what I'm saying. So it was one of those like Kanye, eighteen years, eighteen years, and on the eight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? So it's one of those situations. But like I said, I handled the shit so smooth to the point where it was like when I got back home. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we was in the church like all the time. So my pastor stayed around the corner. So I went to my pastor crib church and I talked to him. Church and life, he already knew. You forgive. He, cause my my mom and them was already talking to him about, it, you know what I'm saying, explaining the situation to me, but they didn't get to get to it before she was being vindictive. You I mean, you don't, saying? you wouldn't feel like at 18, bro. If somebody tells tells you something like that, that can really change your, your exactly. mindset, your, your thinking. You feel like you might have been lied to, deceived your whole life. That really could fuck a lot of people up and throw them off. Exactly. How, how did you handle yourself going forward? Did that affect your life in a, a negative way? My intermediate family, nah, but it kind of it pushed me away from my aunts and uncles. You know, her like I didn't I, to this day. No offense or nothing, but I don't see her like the way that I used to see her. You know what I'm saying? Like she just some old granny. Yeah, she just my mom's mom to me. Like I show, I show, I show her respect. I show her, I show her respect out of love for my mom and them or whatnot. But like as far as like that love that I felt before back in the day, whatever that that shit is kind of kind of died. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a tough situation to go through, man. For Especially sure. when, uh, like I'm saying, somebody raised you just had the third. But you know, but it's, just, it's life. That on you. It's life. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just one of those things where you know everybody got their own story. Everybody got this shit they deal with. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like I handled the situation pretty good. We all, you know what I'm saying? My aunts and uncles, I forgave them because of the fact of at the end of the day. They are going off of her because that's their mom. You know what I'm saying? So right. she's feeding them that poison, feeding them that energy. You know what I'm saying? That's why they are the way they are. So I can forgive them off of the fact that you, you know, ain't know no better, really. Pretty much. You, you know what I'm saying? Home, so bro. I can. My 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 mom so and them was, raised me to have a forgiving heart growing up. You know what I'm saying? So that's just one of those things where it's like big growth. I don't I don't hold grudges on people. You did know what I'm saying? Like you fuck me over, you do some shit like that. I just leave. Okay. Hey, I don't you know hold grudges. I, I don't hold grudges neither. But my whole thing is. Especially at the age I'm at now Right I did a lot of forgiving Oh Go back and kick with the same motherfuckers right. And it was on the same bullshit I can forgive people all day But at this point I'll forgive you But I don't know how to cut you off Yeah you oh, My cut off game like, too strong If I do something uh. You do something I feel like it's disrespectful uh. I'm gonna forgive you For the sake of me But I'm not fucking with you no more it's, Yeah it's, Cause it's I'm a vibe in itself You know what I'm saying Like right. to be in my presence Is a presence So it's like If you if, if I cut wait, you wait, off Wait 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 Let's run it back Jump a horn on that one Say it again fam. Jump a horn on and that run one that, Run that back Will yeah, my presence is a presence. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if I'm fucking with you, we cool, we rocking out, it ain't nothing I won't do for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I give you the shirt off my back. If you going through hard times, I'm right there with you. That's why in the song I said, 
in order for you to be my brother, we got to struggle together. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, if, man, if we go got, through a struggle, that's we gon' you know, I'm a lot of shit in. y'all ain't realizing. Like if you that. actually go like and that. listen to this cat lyrics and right. shit, like right. you can feel him, and yeah. that's. It's authenticity It, it kind of gives you, you A feel of his personality And like yeah. whatever he's doing He's not He's making music That makes him happy And that makes you Attached to it That's what a real artist I like that yeah. 